my hand. I remember the first time I played Wolfenstein The New Order, back in May of 2014. I was ecstatic to finally embark back in the shoes of BJ Blazkowicz and create hell-induced carnage on the Nazis once again. My first impressions of the opening level were shocking. For what seemed like a long time, a very long time, the abuse of first-person shooters had left a foul taste in my mouth. Generic cliches and over-exaggerated cinematic moments in your standard Call of Duty and Battlefield reminded me that there was no hope of a precious story or intimate characters that I could relate to. The New Order's first mission takes you to the heavily defended compound of Death's Head, the game's antagonist. After a crash landing on the shoreline, the player is given a brief introduction to the absolute mayhem the Allied forces are enduring, in a last ditch attempt to gain the upper hand in the war. It's 1946, and the alternate timeline the game takes place in provides a unique and atmospheric setting that is perfect for Wolfenstein's primary gameplay mechanic, shooting. Blatskowitz at this time can carry a submachine gun, pistol, assault rifle, and grenades, but the stunning close quarter combat in the bunker's trenches is so engaging and immersive with the top-notch sound and art design. Even though most of the game is set in the 1960s, this level echoes the nostalgic World War II levels of Medal of Honor and Call of Duty 2. It is this throwback with the twist of the Axis powers winning the war that provides a sense of dependency and last hope that is cinematically apparent in the brutal chaos of the battle. The brilliance of the New Order is that the gameplay coordinates with the story of an alternate timeline. The mission is to kill Death's Head. In every encounter, a new setting seeks to show the impending destruction of the compound and the downfall of the Allied forces. So how can one man, a one-man army, BJ Blazkowicz, take down the world's top Nazi general? The real answer is... He can't. No matter how many Nazis he kills, how many fucking big things he takes out, he'll never kill Death's Head. He won't. Or maybe to the, the finale of this game, but not in this mission, alright guys? BJ cannot kill Death's Head. So what does he have to do? He's gonna have to merc every fucking Nazi there is. all these Nazis walking around. They won. It's over. The Nazis rule the world now. They are everywhere. The resistance fighters, where are they? They are everywhere. Where are they? They are everywhere. Where are they? Okay, I tell you. Damn it. Where are you people keeping the captured resistance fighters? Where are they? What do you want to know? Yo, Pierre, you wanna come?